On Wednesday, March 13th, George E. Rupp of the Harvard Divinity School was named president-designate of Rice University. It had been almost a year since current president, Norman Hackerman, told the university's board of governors about his retirement plans. On July 1st of this year, Rupp will officially begin his duties as the fifth president of Rice University. At 42 years of age, Dr. Rupp will become Rice's second youngest president and the first president selected from a humanities background. Before serving as dean of Harvard's Divinity School, Rupp had been dean for academic affairs at the University of Wisconsin at Green Bay. When asked in a private interview how he plans to prepare for this job, Rupp answered. Well, I, I ha am a, a, um, an addict of data. That is to say, I will be uh, consuming and digesting large ranges of data that, that significant faculty members, uh, faculty members and administrators in significant positions are g collecting for me and forwarding to me. I have spent considerable time with the self-study and with other documents that have the publicly available documents, catalog and, and other self-interpretations uh, in addition, as I say, to the self-study. But I will be uh, undertaking a, an intensive self-education process uh, which will involve reading virtually all materials uh, uh, that I can get my hands on and that my now new colleagues are going to be sharing with me. I will also be spending considerable time talking with current colleagues uh, and certainly also with uh, President Hackerman about issues pending and get the best information I can about those. Uh, because I agree with you, there's a great, there's much that I need to learn and I will be attempting to learn it as quickly as I can. Uh, I am disinclined to make basic decisions without having a, an adequate database and I will take steps to secure a more adequate database than I now have before I make pronouncements about priorities and initiatives. What does Rupp see as the challenges that Rice University faces? I think the central challenge is to build further on the strengths that are already here. And those strengths seem to me centrally to include a, an extremely high quality undergraduate program uh, and great areas of strength in engineering and the natural sciences in particular. I think those need to be further enhanced and in particular uh, careful investments in graduate programs to increase their quality and also the extent to which they can in turn support and enrich the undergraduate programs need to be, uh, those investments need to be made. I think the perhaps critical challenge is not so much one of strengthening substantive programs as one of getting the word out about the quality of what already is here. As I just indicated to students, uh, the student group I was meeting with, Although I pride myself on knowing a good bit about American higher education, I was not as aware of the strengths that Rice has as I became aware once I further familiarized myself with the literature that was made available to me. I think it's very important that the word about the quality of this institution, in particular its stu undergraduate students and its faculty members, but also potentially and increasingly uh, its graduate program, that word be gotten out across the country because it is not nearly as well known as it should be. So I think there's, uh, on the substantive side, the need to further strengthen programs that are here that already are, are very good, but even beyond that strengthening, to get the word out so that people become uh, aware across the country rather than only in a fairly uh, small region of the qualities that the institution has. Traditionally, Rice has been viewed as a strong science and engineering school. Many think, however, that this has been to the detriment of the liberal arts at Rice. When asked about the caliber and commitment of Rice University's liberal arts program, Rupp stated, Well, it seems to me critically important not to pose the question in a way that sets the strengths that Rice has in the science, natural sciences and engineering over against the humanities or the humanities and social sciences. I think it is imperative that Rice retain and enhance the strengths that it does have in engineering and the natural sciences. 
At the same time, I think it's important that Rice do what it has been committed to doing since its, its founding, certainly as articulated by its first president, namely to become a leading university of liberal as well as technical learning. Uh, that, that the institution commit itself to seeing that every, every graduate of Rice University is solidly grounded on both sides of that, what in too many institutions is a chasm or divide. And I think for that further strengthening of the humanities and social sciences, as well as continued enhancement of the natural sciences and engineering, is an important priority and I think can be done. I also think it's important not to understate the strength of the humanities and social sciences programs that are here. I think there are some e extremely good departments in the humanities and social sciences and some very able students in those areas and it does not serve the purposes of the university to suggest that those areas are simply weak or in no way up to the standards of the natural sciences and, and engineering. For the past several years, Rice faculty and administration have debated about instituting a more strict core curriculum. Does the president-elect favor one? Uh, insofar as core curriculum means a set of courses with no choices that are required of every student, no. Uh, it seems to me the usual way in which the alternatives between core curriculum and distribution requirement are posed are almost always misleading. Uh, and that is to say, the core curriculum as I've just described it or distribution requirement that has uh, no parameter, no uh, uh, restrictions at all except that certain numbers of courses in different regions of the curriculum be taken. I think it is possible to develop a set of requirements that are not a core curriculum in the restrictive sense in which I've talked about it, but also take care to make sure that students can't meet distribution requirements with absolutely any courses whatsoever. And my understanding of the actions taken on the basis of the self-study is to move in just that direction, to have, uh, if I can use a, a metaphor, a tightened up distribution requirement. I think that's a right direction to move in. I think it's possible to move uh, even further in the direction possible. I, I, I'm not, I don't have a, a settled view on this. Possible to move even further in the direction of having courses developed specially to meet uh, distribution or liberal education requirements so that care is taken that students take central and, in, and important courses rather than just meet an entirely open distribution requirement. I also think that it would be highly desirable to pay more attention to the ways in which every student who graduates from Rice University have competence both, to use Lovett's terms again, both on the technical and the liberal arts side. And I know there are students who construct their own programs here which are in effect combined majors uh, between, uh, let's say, biochemistry and history. Uh, I have I met a couple of those students at the close of the faculty meeting and asked them if they would be willing to send me just a rundown of the, the kind of curriculum that they have designed for themselves so that I can get some empirical data about the ways in which students who have themselves taken responsibility to become literate both in the sciences and in the humanities, how they have constructed that program. And they assured me they'd be willing not only to send a description of what they have done, but also to solicit some from some of their friends who have similarly put together programs. I'm interested in that because I think to, to move toward a possibility of a, a major minor uh, set of requirements that would, that would supplement or complement a distribution requirement could be quite appealing so that, that every Rice student would have not only a major uh, in one of the areas, natural sciences, uh, social sciences, humanities, but a quite strong complementary program in one of the other divisions. Now, I think it's too early to speculate in detail about that, but I'd like to look at some student programs that have been put together within the present requirements that's, that have more coherence uh, than maybe the general rule to see the extent to which 
those might be patterns uh, for uh, overall requirements. Concerning RUP, John MacArthur, current dean of Harvard Business School, had this to say, RUP is a leader, a strong person, and will get things done. That is indeed what Rice University expects. This has been Personality of the Week. For KTRU News, this is Henry Delagarza.